Hey, I'm Clifton Slay. We're here at SEMA 2022 for Gone Jeepin'. As we were walking the aisles looking for Jeep stuff, we ran into Sean here and he's got these off-road trailers. Uh, I know these have been super popular as a do-it-yourself product for a while. I know there's a lot of production stuff with, with overlanding, stuff like that, but you guys are actually making a product that actually caters to this, this trend. Yes. What is it? Oh, it's uh, off-road. Uh, it's called an axial suspension system. Mm -hmm. right? it, it eliminates the beam inside the axle under the trailer for maximum ground clearance. This looks like a really light trailer, and you said these things go all the way up to like a 7,000 pound. Can you actually show me the flex? Are you able to flex yeah. this? Yeah, sure. With just this really light trailer? The trailer weighs approximately 1,400 pounds. Yeah, it's really, really yeah. light. So it's a really light trailer, and the suspension is a 2,200 pound suspension. So you've got quite yeah. a bit of flex in the suspension. Yeah. Yeah, very supple ride. Are you guys making the entire trailers are you making components for the do-it-yourselfer? We, we make only work? the components uh, okay. for the do-it-yourself. The trailer itself was just a concept trailer that we built for SEMA. Mm -hmm. And we were hoping it would inspire innovation uh, to use our product, the axle suspension. So the axle suspension is very unique uh, in its design. I'd like to take you and show you. Yeah, let's go, yeah. Let's go take a look at it. All right, Sean, so this is a component or assembly that you guys assemble. And just as a first blush, as I look at it, it looks like I have a spindle unit here, maybe something to mount a hub, a suspension piece. But this is not a, what kind of suspension piece is this? Or am I well, it's, mislabeling it? It's, no, you're, you're exactly correct. It, it's an off-road suspension. It's called Axle Suspension by Timberland Industries. Okay. Now, now, what we do is utilize a uh, double convoluted jounce spring. It's a progression, progressive rubber spring that actually absorbs energy, very similar to a coil spring or whatnot, right? Okay. Now, as this spring, as the suspension actuates, the jounce spring absorbs the energy, all the energy comes up, and when it's released, there's a rebound spring in the front that absorbs that energy. So it's a, oh, a push-pull, it mm -hmm. it's pretty much a push-pull setup. Um, very great ride quality. It's second only to like an air ride. Okay. Right? So, I mean, what you gain is total ground clearance under the mm -hmm. under your trailer, right? And then a nice supple ride with with a very, min, it's, it's, it's got a very compact min max wheel travel. So mm -hmm. you, you really are able to feel nice control while you're towing your trailer. Yeah, I can see that. Right? And it's a, it's a, a really a simple design. It looks like it needs to be on yeah. a square channel or something flat, exactly. two mounted. Exactly. And you can get a little creative, you know, for the do-it-yourself or how you want, but you can also buy this and retrofit it under any other trailer. Yeah, I see know? it's a good foundation. Yeah. So I have a couple of questions though. So with okay. this Jones technology suspension, do I need an additional shock for the axle or is this just solely independent? It's solely independent. With, with the jounce and the rebound spring, mm -hmm. it acts as a shock absorber. I see. Right, so once you store their energy, this accepts the energy. Okay. Right, the front side. And so a couple other questions. Yeah, I keep keep spawning more questions as you're sure, talking. Sure, sure. Uh, so does this fit a particular, like GVW, like a particular weight of trailer? <laughs> or is it recommended, or are these interchangeable for different weights? Well, the, we, we offer several different fits, up to, from a 1,200 pound to a 7K. Mm -hmm. unit, uh, one one axle unit. So the the combination of a left and a right would be 1,200 pound to 7K. Oh, I see. Yeah. So pretty heavy duty. If we're it's talking pretty seven, heavy duty. And yeah. is that 7,000 as a tandem or is it an individual? It's an individual. We do offer several different uh, variations, tandem setups as well. Mm -hmm. But this axle is, is pretty unique for just a single axle setup. And so with this spindle and hub assembly, you guys sell the outer part, or is this an OEM piece that fits on the spindle? We, we do part? sell a wheel in kit, we mm -hmm. call it a WEK, with various wheel bolt patterns, various weight ratings, brake options, all across the board. Okay, yeah. neat. So, uh, so it looks like you guys are hitting it from all angles. The simplicity of this suspension to me is the key, mm -hmm. right? It's very simple, it's a small footprint, there's not much hanging under your trailer. Yeah, I got that. Right, mm -hmm. so it gives you a nice transition through any 
any terrain you basically want to go through. And is this rubber component like a, I hate to use the word disposable, but so you can have this assembly, but this wears out at some point, the jounce portion, and you're able to just buy these. Oh yeah, you, we can we can replace yeah. any part. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Lifetime warranty on the rubber parts. Oh yeah. neat. So it's not yeah. a it's not a fast wear item. It's not a fast wear item. This thing it it lasts. It works well. Mm -hmm. uh, once you get it under there, you really see the difference. I'll bet. Yeah. Well, hey Sean, thank you for like I said, this is very spontaneous. Yeah. It was just kind of a unique product for this area. And, glad, uh, I glad appreciate your time hey, and, ex and explanations. Very, thank you very enjoyed much. it. Enjoyed it. Thank, thank you. Sir. Yeah.